We started out today at the Disc Cedar Clinic uh, talking about different blade diameters and perhaps some of the interactions that different blade diameters cause. And we talked about the Great Plains starting out, it's almost rubbed off, but the Great Plains actually use a pair of double disc openers that are 15 inches in diameter. And what's important to know, if you're seeding wheat one inch deep, so measured from the seed up to the uh, from the seed up to the top of the soil that's above the seed after it's planted, you've got a distance right here, and I call this distance A. So that's basically the point of which the disc enters the soil at soil surface level to the distance where the disc exits the soil. You've got a distance here, which is what I call distance A. And I'm assuming the blade is going this direction. You've also got this angle here, which is the angle at which the disc enters the soil surface and hopefully cuts residue right there. So that angle, what I call angle B, is very important because the steeper the angle, closer to 40 to 45 degrees, has actually been found, lots of work around the world, has actually been found to cut soil and residue better. So as the blade diameter gets bigger, for example a John Deere with an 18 inch blade, this distance A, again from where the blade enters the soil to where it exits the soil, is obviously greater than with a 15 inch blade. So it starts increasing the amount of force required, assuming all the angles of the blades remain constant, the force required to push this blade into the ground with a greater contact patch increases. And the challenge is with a bigger blade, this angle B, obviously as the blade enters the soil, begins to decrease. So as that blade angle, as it enters the soil and residue decreases, you actually end up with less effective residue cutting and potentially more hairpinning in heavy residue or damp soil. The SDX, such as what we're standing by right now, has a 22 and a half blade, and some people maintain, well, you don't have to replace the blade as often. However, it takes a lot more force because again, this distance A from where the blade enters the soil to where it exits the soil is much greater than an 18 and obviously much greater than a 15. So as a result of the larger blade, it requires a lot more frame weight to push that larger blade into the soil. And the, and the easy comparison that I give guys is if you've got a, a narrow spade four inches wide and you jump on it in a given soil type, you'll probably push it in the ground a, a long way. But if you have a spade twice as wide, it's much more difficult to press into the soil. The other negative of the larger blade is this lower angle right here. So as the blade diameter increases, this contact angle here of the blade intes intersecting the soil surface and residue that's on it decreases. And when that angle decreases, it can and often does have a negative impact on soil cutting and can increase hair pinning. So for the most part, an 18 inch is a fair compromise between good penetration, not a huge amount of force required to press it in the ground, reasonable angle to cut residue, and a reasonable blade life. But again, as the edge begins to be lost, on a John Deere, for example, as the blade diameter drops below about 17, you start to lose the edge, you get more hair pinning, the blade needs to be replaced. And that's the same on all blades. So be looking at the Brander drill, the manufacturer's recommended uh, diameter to replace the blades and don't wear them further than that.